Hey there everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to make timelines with PowerPoint. So first of all, on insert, I'm going to go for shapes, then I'm going to take this rectangle and this just slide over there, done. Then I'm going to go for shape outline, then no outline so that we don't have any outlines. Then I'm going to change the shape to something like this black, done. Now I'll go for insert and word it and for this thing. Then we have a text box. Now I'll say, I'm gonna make an entire tutorial about the processes of making a video. So how, for example, maybe how to make a video, right? Done. Or the steps of making a video, done. Now I'm gonna change the font. I'm gonna drag it and select it all, then go for home. Then maybe I'll make it Avant Gbol because it's my favorite font. I'm going to get rid of the shadow because we don't want the shadow. And just going to put it right over here. And align it to the middle. Done. And I'm going to change the color into a bit ash. Done. So this is our initial slide. All right. Then I'm just going to press on this thing. Then press Ctrl D. By pressing Ctrl D, I'll have another duplicate of the main slide. Now what I will do is change the text into something like what are the steps of making a video? First of all you gotta record the damn video right? Record the video. Done. And I'll just click on this, press Ctrl D, duplicate it, then I'll press for example I write 1 for step 1 and increase the size like this. I'm gonna make it huge like this. All right. Now, as you can see, it's you know indistinguishable from the font. So I'm going to change the uh, color a bit, like make it this ash. Then I'm going to right click and send it to back. Now we have one, right? And into the middle. Done. Now what I'll do is go to insert again, shapes, and take this triangle, and just keep it right over here, and then change the shape and font and everything. So the first slide is this, the second slide is this. Now what I'll do right now is go for transitions, then push. We have this animation, push animation. But what I'll do is I'll go for effects option. This is the main part. I'll go for effect options and from right. And this gives this effect of a timeline. As you can see, if I turn on the slideshow, first slide is this, then I press down arrow, and we have another thing on our timeline. Now all we need to do is duplicate this slide and just put as many points as we would like to see. So I'm going to be duplicating this slide again and change this font to 2, record the video, then we'll process, edit the video, then I'm going to be duplicate it again edit the audio because audio is a huge part of the video and I'm going to be changing this to 3 and fourth part is rendering the video. So there you go. We're just saying examples. So we have four points and finally thanks for watching and I'm going to be re getting rid of this thing and this too. So if we now see how our slides have went and I'm going to be starting with the first slide, the steps of making a video, record the video, edit the video, edit the audio, and rendering. And finally, thanks for watching. As you can see, it gives the illusion of a timeline. So all we did was just to put some format into this thing and then use the push animation and go for the effect options. Now, if you want to turn this into a video, all you need to do is click on all these things. I'm going to be pressing this one and holding down shift. I'm going to be selecting all of them. Then for transitions, I'm going to select three. So what this means is that each and every slide will stay there for only three seconds. After that, the slide will change as you know. So let's see the animation here. I've started the video. It's waiting for three seconds. One, two, three. And the slide didn't change. 
Oh yes, it did. <laughs> it did. Then it, we will again wait three seconds, the next slide, and again for the next slide. So as you can see, we have made an entire video just with PowerPoint. So I'm gonna be just making this one second and so that it goes fast. The steps of making a video, record the video. Step two, edit the video. Step three, edit the audio. Step four, rendering the video. As always, thanks for watching. So that's how you make a timeline on PowerPoint and that's how you can create stellar presentations just by using simple ticks. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. See you in the next episode. I'm Sandal Sadiq and as always, thanks for watching.